What's going on, everybody? We got Scott McCall versus Elijah Michelson. Now, we have not seen Scott in actions on this channel for a very long time, and we haven't even done a Elijah matchup ever. So, this is gonna be a pretty interesting fight, so stay continue. If you guys are hungry, grab some snacks, get some popcorn, get whatever to drink, because this is gonna be a thirsty fight. So, all right. Obviously, we already know with experience and strength, speed, IQ, IQ battle, definitely in power and hacks and everything definitely goes to Elijah because Scott never killed anybody out through the series, including the team with the movie. Um, so when it comes to killing wise, Elijah's definitely not afraid to, you know, whip somebody's head off or bite someone's neck or whip their heart out or just compel them to do whatever they want. So, especially when it comes to protecting his family, his loved ones like Haley, for example, like he literally went insane. He literally made myself compel him to forget about her and the family. And so when we got that Elijah, it's literally insane. So, yeah, there is no fighting chance. Now, don't get me wrong, Scott is talented. He's a good fighter. We have seen where he has fought. Um, multiple board villains out through Team Wolf and even Void Styles at one point. And Derek. Now, the only thing I could probably give him credit is when he Superman punched uh, Peter in that season, in that scene. So, if anything, we would have to have that Scott McCoy versus this Elijah because due to the fact that he was untouchable. Like, he literally got possessed. And then he was able to break out of it and then fought with Peter later on through that episode. So, yeah. So, we're going to need that Scott McCall that forces Elijah Mikerson. Because he's not going to take it easy. Especially if he sees that he's a threat to his people and his kind. Because he also is um, a part of the... Um, it's been a minute since I've watched the originals. Um, the one He was a part of the one group with the Tristan and... Amora's uh, team. You all know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, so all Elijah has to do is just toss him around, have a good few little good times with Scott, and pretty much, yeah. So, pretty much, Elijah wins this. This is not even a debate. Um, Elijah's will whip out Scott's heart or he will feed him to the snakes.